The Block Layer Smackdown with MCAA's fastest trowel on the block. We're going to get a look right now at all of our competitors and judges for the fastest trowel on the block. Let's meet them and see who's going to be competing for that $8,000. Here we go. Install number one. Dante Dixon from Nunnally Masonry Incorporated. Looks like he's got some fans over there. Stall number two, Bob Christensen from New Dimension Masonry. Stall number three, Taylin Collins. Stall number four, Dagoberto Fierro. Stall number five, Howard Cole from New Way. Stall number six, Alfredo Cardenas from Pioneer Masonry. Install number seven, Art Cañez from Fraser Masonry. Stall number eight, Arcadio Armenta from Sutter Masonry. Stall number nine, Mark Ferreira from William and Sons Masonry. Install number 10, Glenn Houghton Sr. from Hydro Masonry. Stall number 11, Pascal Robertson from Pascal Robertson Masonry. Stall number 12, Irvin Willoughby from Pascal Robertson Masonry. Stall number 13, Chris Belinte from Native American Bricklayers in Arizona. And stall number 14, Alvaro Landaverde from Sutter Masonry. And stall number 15, Zachary Easley from Zarco Construction. And stall number 16, Raul Reyes from Sutter Masonry. Stall number 17, Raymond Clark from NQ Super Trades. And in stall number 18, Uriel Bedrano from G&G &G Enterprises. Let's have a nice hand for all of our competitors. And now let's meet our judges for the fastest trail on the block. Judges, if you would raise your hand as I call your name so the people in the audience know who you are. Morona, Moroni Mejia, Moroni Mejia, Greg Aldhammer. Joe Bonifate, Heath Holdaway, Dewey Holm, Dave Jenkins, Alan Johnson, Jack Ross, Roland Stockneck, Joey Tolbo, Tom McKay, and Garen Graves. Let's have a nice hand for all the judges. Uh, the fastest trial on the block is just about to get underway, so I would ask that all masons and their tenders get to the edges of their stalls and get ready to go. We're going to put 20 minutes on the clock, and I'm going to count it down from five to one. I'll say go. They'll get a two-minute rest break and then four minutes to clean their stalls up for the judges. But it's not just $8,000 that's on the line for the competitors. There's a lot more cash and prizes. So let's take a look and listen to see what these guys are shooting for today during Masonry Madness. Here's the prize list. The first place winner of the fastest trowel on the block will receive $8,000 in cash, a Marshalltown ceremonial trowel trophy and tool bag containing trowel, margin trowel, tape measure, beaver tail brush, jointer, and tuck pointer a steel $500 product and merchandise certificate, and the first place trophy. And the first place winner's tenders will receive a Marshalltown tool bag containing trowel, margin trowel, tape measure, beaver tail brush, jointer, and tuck pointer. The second place winner of the fastest trowel on the block will receive $2,500 in cash, a Marshalltown tool bag containing trowel, margin trowel, tape measure, beaver tail brush, jointer, and tuck pointer, a steel $300 product and merchandise certificate, and the second place trophy. The third place winner of the fastest trowel on the block will receive $1,500 in cash, a Marshalltown tool bag containing trowel, margin trowel, tape measure, beaver tail brush, jointer, and tuck pointer a steel $100 product and merchandise certificate, and a third place trophy. All competitors of the fastest trowel on the block will receive a Marshalltown tool bag containing trowel, hat, 
and sunglasses and a grout grunt scoop. And all tenders of the fastest trail on the block will receive a Marshalltown Navy hat and sunglasses. All right, there you go. That's what they're vying for. Masons and tenders, get ready. I need 20 minutes on the clock, if you please. Once that clock is up on the Jumbotron, I'll call it down from five. You'll have 20 minutes exactly, competitors. After that, you get a two-minute rest period. And then you've got four minutes to clean up your walls, and then the judges will begin. Masons and tenders, let's count it down. In five, four, Three, two, one, go. Let's see who the fastest trowel on the block is. I need a little music, if you please, Mr. DJ. Oh, I wish I was in a land of cotton. All right, taking a look at the clock, we've got uh, just a little over 16 minutes to go for the fastest trial on the block. Uh, right now, I want to talk to Raleigh Cox, and uh, Raleigh is with Multiquip, and uh, we got a new animal behind us, don't we, Raleigh? Yeah, we got the uh, C30 grout pump, uh, concrete pump. We're going to go straight out of this tower. That pump's going to put out about uh, eight yards an hour as fast as we're going, as fast as the block will swallow it, Tom. Now, how is uh, Multiquip doing these days? It's always good to see you here every year at the Spec Mix Bricklayer 500. 
we're uh, making the quality products and people are starting to take notice and we're doing real well. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like that smile on your face. And uh, generator action right here too. Yeah, this generator will operate. Full addiction land. And then we got the trailer over here for the water and then we got the pump goes right into the wall. We start this pump up, we start the tower up, go into the pump, bang, right into the wall. Man, you never touch the grout. It just goes through the hose, and we got a horse over there that's hanging on to it, baby. We're good to go. It's fun getting dirty and getting your, you know, getting your sock. I'm married, Tom, you know how that goes. She doesn't like doing the laundry anymore, buddy. I love it, Raleigh, thank you. Cox with Multiquip. All right, follow me. We're gonna cut through right over here with Nick Blahoviak with Spec Mix. And um, Nick, I know we're gonna talk about how this animal works right here. We see some grout coming out, talk to me. Well, you can see now we've got our Specmix D2W up over our silo. We've turned this into a portable grout batch plant for any job site, capable of doing about eight, hour, eight, eight yards an hour of core fill grout into a masonry wall, keep up with any masonry crew. Simple as the push of a button, we see Matt has already started the grout machine working, our DTW working, they're going to push it up over this multi-quip pump, and we're going to grout that wall solid right now as we stand here. So now it doesn't matter if a mason's got to get 17, 18, 20, 26 yards of grout, they can do it right now, as many yards or as few yards as you need, no wait time, no extra cost, keep your men moving, keep them working, don't move them from wall to wall, that's what this system brings to our contractors. All right, Nick, so let's go down there and let's watch it. Come on, follow me over here. We're gonna watch these guys load up the block right here. Let's see if we can get the uh, the camera right down in there. I can see it coming out. We're gonna watch it. The pump is gonna be going full force right now. Raleigh, how much is that pump pulling out as we're seeing and put it in the block right there? What kind of capacity? We're getting about eight yards an hour out of it. We just plugged the pump here just so it's gonna get about eight yards an hour out of it. Got a day gone. It's going to go about eight yards. Well, that sounds good. Let's take a look at the clock right now while the camera is on that. Taking care of it, we've got 13.18 left. We've got 13.18 left on the clock right now. Uh, the fastest trial on the block, as we said, after the 20 minutes, they got two minutes to rest, and then they've got four minutes to clean the walls up. Let's get some music going right now, get these guys a little fired up. Crowd, I want to hear you guys make some noise because we got $8,000 on the line. You don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Just wait a minute.
Down here by the fastest trial on the block, stall number one, directly below the Hydromobile P-Series Mascaf climber. And I'm here with the guys from Betamax. On my right is Bart Pear from Betamax, your marketing director. And on his right is John Dillon. John Dillon, your major accounts manager. What are we going to see today with the Betamax hoist? What we're going to do right now is we're going to demonstrate how the Betamax hoist can help get brick, block, mortar, anything at all, any type of material up to the upper decks, up to a hydro platform, mass climbing work platform, scaffolding, balcony, rooftop at 80 feet per minute. It really helps companies become more efficient. They can march to their own drummer. They can be autonomous and set their own pace. So you can be on the ground or on the scaffolding and make it work, right? Exactly. Exactly. That's correct. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to have to send a mud tub up, in this case up to a hydromobile platform. You can see how quickly and easily it goes up. As the unit goes up 80 feet per minute, it can automatically stop at the top, and then it can trolley in over the deck and lower its, lower its payload back down. That's pretty quick. 80 feet a minute? 80 feet per minute, 2,000 pound capacity. We have variable speed operation as well for heavier loads and placement. Where can we find this piece of equipment? Where are you across the world? Where are you? Well, we cover all of North America, Canada, Central America, and parts of South America. We have distributors nationally. We're also opening up new distributorships. You can contact us at betamaxhoist.com or 800-233-5112. You guys are the leaders in this uh, material hoist business. We appreciate you being out here. Thanks for being a sponsor. Tom, back to you. Thank you very much, Brian. Check in the fastest trial on the block clock right now. We have got eight minutes and 50 seconds left. 8.50, guys, you gotta get it going. With the longer walls, I see a lot more block being built right there. As the camera pulls back, you can see there's a lot more block that's being laid out there by those guys. $8,000 on the line, a lot of other cash and prizes. And uh, it's just amazing how fast that those guys are actually working over there. So we're almost down to eight minutes right now. Over halfway into the competition, competition just to see who is the fastest trowel on the block. As they're finishing that up, I'm over here with Jerry Liner. And um, Jerry, we have a very interesting demo over here. I've seen block that I've never seen this kind of shape before. Now, Jerry, tell me a little bit about what we're going to see here today. Absolutely. So we have a everybody's familiar with. Just start getting more block in the wall for reducing masonry uh, expense and their cost and labor cost. Also, be able to improve the quality of the R values of the wall. So we're going to start laying these things and show how you can take the the uh, pro and get around the rebar without having to lift those things up over all the rebar to increase your speed. Every all right. Day. All right, well, I'll tell you what, guys, we're going to let you guys get started. As they are working, Jerry, I want you to tell me exactly what they're doing and the benefits and the way that they're going to save time and energy on the job right there. So explain exactly what we're going to see here because we have a different shape block, something that, you know, we don't see, the A block that's right here. So this is something that's a little bit different. So tell me what they're doing and what the advantage. Oh, I can see they're going around the rebar there. Yes, going around the rebar, and as you can see, it the wall over on your left and uh, the one on the right, we're having to lift over the rebar for this one and the pro block, he's able to take the block and just stick it in place around the, the uh, rebar. The block is made completely different. The cross piece, a handhold, it's been, it has been moved, so as he picks it up with one hand, it's more balanced and he's able to put the block in place. Now, when we talk about laying more block, what, what kind of an advantage? How much more block do you think we're able to get down versus having to, you know, to lift over the rebar? What, you know, what are we looking at here? Typically, you can look at doubling your production on an eight-hour day per man. So uh, when you start doing wow. that, you're talking about a lot of cost savings. Double production, that's incredible. That, that's saving a lot of money right there on the job. Without a doubt. And that's, uh, that's what this was primarily developed for. All right, and if folks have any questions, they can talk to the Masons up there or you or Kyle. Kyle Weatherly also here with us out here. Absolutely. Kyle is uh, out on Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, he gets around 
most all parts of the country, so he'll be able to help anybody that has questions. Well, Jim, thank you so much. We appreciate it. You can come and take a look at the A block and H block demo that's over here. These guys are going to be building the wall for the next 10 or 15 minutes to show you how easy it is to do it. With a little over five minutes left to go in the fastest trial on the block competition, we're going to take a commercial break, come back, should be ready to finish it up. So what do you say we play a little music, give these guys a little bit of get fired up, and we're going to be good to go. The skills challenge ends at 12. The skills challenge does end at 12 o'clock as well. So we got a lot happening here with masonry madness. The skills challenge is over. The fastest trial on the block is almost over. It's absolutely crazy. Let's go to commercial break. Break. Let's play some music. We'll be right back. It is the Spec Mix Bricklayer 500. Man, it's getting hot out here. We own work. We are the construction workers, the contractors, the utility linemen. We spend all day digging a trench, laying a foundation, delivering a load of lumber. We work in the dirt and mud and rain and wind. We work in the heat and in the cold. In the early dawn of morning and in the wee hours of the night, we work. We're coal miners in Pennsylvania, ambulance drivers in Alaska, and oil workers in the heart of Texas. And we come in all shapes and sizes, ready for anything the day can throw at us. We own work with tools to make the job easier. Tools to make us smarter. Tools that connect us to the world. And tools that help us find our way home. We are strong. We are adaptable. And we are more than capable of just about anything. I would say the biggest advantage in this time is always the confidence that we have that no matter what, because like I said, we specialize in the difficult jobs. No matter what, we know um, if our forklift won't do it, Betamax will help us or provide us with something that will do the, do the task. And, uh, you know, and at that point, we don't have to throw in all this cushion just so we're confident. We're, we know we're confident at the get-go.
Welcome back to the Spec Mix Bricklayer 500. 45 seconds left in the fastest trail on the block. Just 45 seconds. Hurry up, guys. You do not have much time left. Crowd, you're going to count it down with me when they got 20 seconds. We've got 33, 32, 30, 30 seconds left, guys. 30 seconds left. Once they are done, they're going to have a two-minute rest period. Then they've got four minutes in which they can tool their walls. And we're going to figure out which side of the wall when Maroney flips the coin. Here we go. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Trowels down, everybody. Let's give them a nice hand. Trowels down. All right, these guys are going to get a two-minute break. And uh, Maroney, who is over here, he's uh, head of the judges. We've got a flip of the coin. And Maroney, tell me what the flip of the coin determines for the fastest trial on the block competitors. All right, so the flip of the coin is going to determine which side of the wall the contestants are going to tool. So part of the judging criteria is checking for, for tooling and neatness and filling of voids. So this will determine which side we'll do. Heads will be the mortarboard side. Tails will be the side of the line. All right, here goes the flip of the coin. I have got tails, correct? And so tails means? The, the line side. All right. So gentlemen, you'll be tooling the line side of the wall. There you go, it's gonna be on the line side. You've got two minutes to rest. Think about that. In the meantime, we're gonna talk with our reps from the NCMA. And with us, we have President Bob Thomas and Chairman Charles Newsom that's here. We wanna welcome them from the NCMA. And Charles, I'm gonna start with you. Uh, you're the guy, you're the chairman. What's well, going on? We appreciate the opportunity to share with you the fact that we are we are in the process of working together with the masonry contractors and building a coalition. And we have been to Washington a half a dozen times to uh, get a bill through Congress to, uh, to have a checkoff program and to be able to uh, raise what we are projecting would be $12 million a year for education, promotion, and research. We think it's a real important effort, and the fact that the masonry contract is a partner and with us has been a lot, gives us a lot better chance to make it happen. We're happy to be here, and we think you're putting on a first-class event, and we are also innovating. Uh, over across the way, uh, you will see what we are terming as our pro block, which is uh, a new development. Go by and take a look at it. Charles, what do you think about this competition out here? You're watching all this masonry madness. Listen, this competition really brings a professionalism and it demonstrates that it is a viable, a viable vocation that you can make a good living doing. I think so. Brian, you got Bob Thomas next to you, who is the president of the NCMA. Bob, I just want to thank you guys, both of you, very much for being such a strong sponsor of the MCAA fastest trial on the block. It means a lot to us. Every year you guys are out here. Tell us more about what you guys are doing at the trade show and for the industry. Well, you know, first of all, Brian, I did want to thank you for the opportunity to be here. SpecMix does a great job of putting on this program. And, uh, you know, to me, the beauty of this program is it does celebrate the profession. Uh, we're all professionals operating in this industry, and there are great opportunities, uh, both for us as individuals within the, within the profession, but also for the, the, the product itself. We've got a great system, which you all know. I'm speaking to the choir here about that. But uh, there are some things that we continue to have to do because what we want to do is to make masonry more competitive against the competition. When that happens, we will all benefit and we'll all grow. So uh, Charles mentioned innovation. I'm a believer that we have to innovate or we'll die. And so I'm 100% I'm behind the innovation curve. So, you know, we've got some great products that are out there. We got to make it to the point where it's easier for people to install. We got to make it go faster. It's got to perform better. It's got to be more energy efficient, more fire resistant. We got to build a better mousetrap. And you got a big show coming up in what, two weeks in Palm Springs, California? We do. We decided we like the, uh, the desert uh, air and the sunshine. It's better than being back east with everybody else. So um, uh, we've got an event called Icon Exchange which will be in Palm Spring during the, uh, during the first week of February. So we invite you to come out to that one. I'll be there myself, so I look forward to seeing you out there. And let's promote masonry together, right? Absolutely. I love it. Bob, Charles, thank you so much. We appreciate you spending some time with us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure.
All right. It's now time to get the fastest trail on the block competitors to start taking care of their walls. They're going to have four minutes up on the clock to do that. So, gentlemen, start taking care of your walls in five, four, three, two, one. Good luck. Let's play a little music and get these guys going. $8,000 on the line. Welcome back to the Spec Mix Bricklayer 500. My name is Tom Clark. I am your host. It's been a great day today. You know what? You could not beat the weather. Gorgeous today, a high of about 65. It's been sunny, perfect bricklaying and block laying weather. So far, we've given away all the awards for the Skills Challenge. That's the first, second, and third year students, and they're really happy. 
Uh, they got their cash, they got a nice calculator, a Marshalltown tool bag, and their trophies. And now it's time to give away even more money. The fastest trowel on the block. And as we were talking about earlier, $8,000 is going to be going to the winner. So we're going to keep an eye on those contestants right now. It's time to give away all the goods for the fastest trowel on the block. Here we go. In third place, with a block count of 118, they'll get $1,500 in cash, the Marshalltown tool bag, a $100 product and merchandise certificate from Steel, and a third place trophy, Pascal Robertson. Come on up, Pascal. Congratulations with you and your tender. Congratulations out there. Your name has been mentioned before. Good job. Here we go, right over here, guys. They're the guys with the check. I'd probably hover near them. In second place, $2,500 in cash. The Marshalltown tool bag containing all sorts of goodies, including the trowel, a margin trowel, tape measure, beaver tail brush, joiner, and tuck pointer. The second place trophy, a steel $300 product and merchandise certificate. Chris Belente. Chris. Chris is with the Native American Bricklayers. Congratulations, guys. Nice job, nice big check waiting for you guys. Congratulations. And the big winner. Now the first place winner's tender is also gonna get a Marshalltown tool bag containing a trowel, margin trowel, tape measure, beaver tail brush, joiner and tuck pointer. First place trophy. A $500 steel product certificate, the Marshalltown bag with everything, $8,000 in cash, with a block count of 126. Your winner is, I'm doing this like American Idol, isn't it brutal? From Pascal Robertson Masonry, Irvin Willoughby. He's probably going to hit me on the way by for doing that. Congratulations, guys. Nicely done. What a good team. Let's have a nice hand for all of our Masons and Tenders for the fastest trowel on the block.